into the room. You're welcome to stand in the back of the room, just behind these podiums that we have on either side of the room. Just those reminders once more. Please make sure that your flash is off. They can see us as much as we can see them and that your phone is on silent. Any small children with you here today, if they become a little fussy during this presentation, we're going to have to take them out of this room and into the hallway. That way we don't disrupt any of these people at work and the presentation can continue as normal. With that, please give your full attention to our wonderful host, Sasha. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Orion Mission Control. My name is Sasha, as Jessica already mentioned, and I'll be telling you a little more about the room you are seeing in front of you today. So this is called the Orion Mission Control. However, this room's official name is the White Vicar or the White Fight Control Room. From here, we actually controlled some of our space shuttle missions from the mid-1990s and up until the very end of the program back in the summer of 2011. If you take a look inside of the room towards left post wall and to the top, you'll notice a bunch of patches, all which symbolize every single mission that has been flown from this room, which is 66 manned missions in total. And as of right now, they actually are using this room. However, they're not using it for any actual missions. Right now, they're using this room to train employees to work in the real mission control. So our real mission control, from which we control the International Space Station, is in the same building, just down the hall to the left. And it's called the Red Vicar, or the Red Flight Control Room. It's the same room you're seeing on those screens on either side of the room. That is a live feed from the real mission control. So I want to give you an idea what that room really looks like. But in this room, as I said, we do have trainees working in here. So every day, Monday through Friday, uh, this room is used as a classroom for those who are going to work in mission control in the future. So all these trainees here are graduates of the STEM degree. So they are graduated in the STEM field. And I don't know how far along all these people are in their process, um, but their training usually does last about two to three years. The first part of their training takes place in a classroom and they learn everything about the International Space Station. And the rest of their training takes place here in this room. And in this room is really where their more intense training takes place. So every single day in this room, they basically run a simulation. And inside the simulation, a bunch of things go wrong with the International Space Station. And they have to solve those problems that are going on wrong. The problems will pop up on the screen all the way in the back on the right side. You'll notice how at the very top there's some letters and they're highlighted in yellow and red. That is the part of the screen where all the problems pop up. Anything you see in yellow is a minor problem. So minor problems are those which you do not have to deal with immediately. They could be something really, really simple like somebody leaving a toaster plugged in for too long and electricity is running low, where the computers on the ISS are running low on batteries. So something really, really simple. However, the red problems are major problems. Once you see a major problem pop up, you have to get working on it ASAP because they're the ones who actually pose a risk to the astronauts in the spacecraft. Major problems could be a chemical leak, it could be a fire, and it could also be a rapid change of pressure in a module. And of course, once that happens, you have to get working on it immediately because you don't want anything to happen to the spacecraft and to the astronauts. So usually in one week, the real mission control will deal with at most 10 minor problems, if even really that. But every single day in this room, they actually experience at least two major problems and at least 10 minor problems as well. Every single day in this room is actually a very, very bad day. Of course, the reason being, these are all trainees and want to give them the most stressful environment possible. They won't have a lot of bad days in the real mission control, but that way, if they do, they'll be really well prepared for it because that's what every single day in this room was like. Also, by giving them a lot of problems every single day, this means that they may encounter a couple problems more than once, which really gives them coverage of every single possible thing that could go wrong. So when they work in the real mission control, this means that uh, whatever problem pops up, they'll be able to solve it just like that because they dealt with it at least once in this room. Now, there is a position in which this room that is not 